Okay, you guys, I have a new recipe. This is actually cauliflower rice and chickpea stew on top. No oil, no butter, and it is healthy. Let's get started. First, what you will need is some cauliflower head or cauliflower head or whatever. And what you want to do is shred this up into a rice texture. You can either use this right here, but that's a lot of work. But I'm going to use a food processor, so I'm not about to do all that. So first what you like to do is put the cauliflower in the food processor for a couple of seconds, not too long because you don't want it to be like too smooth or whatever. You still you want it to be like a rice consistency like this. Cauliflower rice texture is made. Next what we're going to do, we're going to cook it on like medium high, medium low. Yeah, medium low. And I'm seasoning, I'm using this black pepper and some adobo seasoning. And all I'm going to do is just make, I just want to keep it like real simple because most of my flavor is going to come from the chickpea stew. <clears throat> and what you do is you put the seasoning in and you kind of stir it around and make sure you pay attention to it because you don't want it to burn until it's like brown at the bottom. So yeah, just let it cook on low while you mix up cook the vegetables. That's what I'm about to do is cut up my bell pepper. I'm going to do a green one. And I'm going to do a red one because the flavors together are just bomb. And like I said, I'm keeping this very simple. I ain't being all extra adding a whole bunch of unnecessary things up in there. And I'm doing some red onions. Also, it's about to be so good. And next what I'm about to do is just chop those up into little small pieces. Well, not small. You can do whatever you like. I keep it like small, medium pieces. And it's probably like one-fourth of uh, of each. One-fourth of the peppers and one-fourth of the um, onions. Next, what I'm going to do is saute these in a pan with no oil and no butter. Okay? Not a fun part. We're about to mix the sauce together. I like to do this separate just in case I mess up. So first I'm going to use some unsweet coconut milk. I would say I use maybe like a cup. I don't know. And the pad thai paste. So yeah, like a cup of coconut oil. Maybe three-fourths. I don't know. I'm sorry. And one tablespoon of tahini with the one tablespoon of the pad thai paste. I hope I'm saying it right. <clears throat> and you just stir all that together. Make sure it's mixed thoroughly. And next I'm going to add a little bit of some adobo seasoning. Just a little bit. This is optional, by the way. So yeah, you just stir all that together. Next is the chickpeas. So I'm going to add my chickpeas in the pan with the vegetables that I was sauteing. And mix it all together. So that's where the real flavor is going to come from, them peppers. And now you got to add the um, the sauce that I made. The coconut milk sauce. And you just kind of mix all that together. And let it cook on high. Well, medium high. For like 10 minutes. And I also added some saison. Am I saying this right? Saison? Saison? Go ahead, pack it. I added like a half a packet just so it can enhance the flavors, but you don't want to put too much because you don't want to take away from the coconut and the pad thai paste flavor. So yeah, just half a packet. Now I'm checking on my cauliflower rice and it is done. You see what I'm saying? It's like kind of brown at the bottom, but not all the way. And the texture is perfect. And now this is done. Now I can't do it while I'm holding the camera, so... I want y'all to see that part, but I can't do it. So, now it's done. It's all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, comment. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.